Welcome back to Lifecraft Academy. I have my broom. I'm in uh, what I'm hoping looks like a, 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 a workspace, garage, I don't know, a workshop in, in uh, maybe in a remote part of Alaska. And I say that because next week I'm heading up to uh, way up uh, in Alaska. We get there by small uh, Cessna to a little uh, Eskimo village. We're going to be there for a couple weeks doing some bridge production. But I tried to create, I wanted to create a set that was that would maybe fit that ambiance. What I want to talk about today is this editing program called CapCut. Now, I quite often will demonstrate some editing that I do in post-production using Final Cut. I'm also aware that Final Cut is not a freeware program. It is a program that you pay for, uh, and it's only Apple only. I've been hearing about CapCut in Wales. The students would say, oh, we edit in CapCut. And uh, in my naivete, I thought that CapCut was like a an app that you put on your iPhone that it was you know editing on an amateur level for maybe for a TikTok channel or whatever. I had no idea that CapCut is as cool as it is. I didn't know that CapCut um, comes as a desktop application. You can download it. I didn't know that it was cross-platform Mac and PC. I didn't know that you could get CapCut on your phone or on your Android. I didn't know that there was even a browser-based CapCut. So I download CapCut onto my Mac on my uh, little gaming laptop and I am blown away by even the free version how professional it is. Incredibly professional. It reminds me very much of, of Final Cut even in the keyboard shortcut. So we now have a free solution to go along with the free app Jet Set is free to do some post-production and that's the topic of my workshop today. I feel like this cool cozy little chilly room that I'm sweeping out. Uh, I feel like there needs to be a TV and that should be uh, maybe a 1970s, an older TV and we should have some sound, some audio that that TV should be playing some a TV show or a film. And so we want to turn this, this, this static backdrop into a motion backdrop, but we're not going to do that with Final Cut. We're actually going to do it with CapCut. So come on along. The process of preparing the set for animation is fairly straightforward. I began in Photoshop with my original image that I originally created in the Midjourney AI program. In Photoshop, I used the generative fill feature to add a vintage TV set to the image. From there, I cut out the screen so that we could add back into the scene an old movie. Now into CapCut, it was an easy task to set up two layers. My top layer is the cabin still image, and below that, I added an old movie. CapCut has some powerful tools and very quickly I was able to resize the old movie and then experiment with distressing the video quality even further to help it blend in with the vintage TV set. Matching exposure and overall video quality is a simple trial and error process with the various sliders. And now we have our brand new custom made motion backdrop created and edited in CapCut. Okay, almost, almost cleaned up here. Okay, so we produce this in CapCut. It's now looping. Actually, let's bring up some of that, the audio. Okay, now we've got a little bit of, of cabin ambiance. So now we have added uh, an old style TV set with motion video playing on the screen. And we didn't do it in a payware editing system. We did it in CapCut, which in my opinion, even the free version is just about as professional as you can get. And if you do wish to pay a subscription, it's $9 a month for uh, some of the extra bling. So that's, that's my uh, video today. I do want to tease, actually let me jump to a new, a new backdrop. In the next episode of Lightcraft Academy, uh, coming out in just a few days before I head up to Alaska, I want to walk you through how you can make a custom control room uh, for if you're, particularly if you're doing any kind of a broadcast, uh, middle school, high school, college and beyond uh, and any kind of a, a broadcast where you want this sort of control room look. Uh, we're gonna walk you through how you can do that, even how you can add some faux uh, glass wall there and, and we'll achieve the out of focus backdrop. So that'll be the topic of the next Lightcraft Academy. Stay tuned for that in a few days. As always, please, please, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching, take care.